Welcome, pure fighters, to a topic that's sure to raise some eyebrows. Today, we're diving headfirst into the controversial question of why MMA fighters should have low paychecks. Before you get your gloves up, stick with us and let's explore five reasons that might make you see things differently. Reason one, the Darwinian principle. First, let's talk about the Darwinian principle of survival of the fittest. MMA is a brutal sport where only the toughest can make it to the top. The lower paychecks could be seen as a filter, separating the truly dedicated from those who are not. It's a tough world out there, and only the best deserve the big bucks. Can you imagine Raul Rosas Jr. getting same paycheck as John Jones? Reason 2. Fighter Motivation Think about this for a moment. Low paychecks can actually motivate fighters to give their all. When you're struggling to make ends meet, you'll be more inclined to train harder and push your limits. Hunger can be a powerful driver, and it can lead to even more exciting and intense battles inside the cage. Look at Conor McGregor's story. Reason 3. Growth of the sport. A controversial argument, but bear with me. If fighters earned less, promotions might be able to invest more in marketing, production, and overall growth of the sport. More fans, more growth, more opportunities for fighters down the line. Therefore, it's logical that UFC pays its fighters only 20% of its event revenues. Reason 4. Competitive intensity. Low pay can create an environment where fighters are willing to fight anyone, anywhere, anytime. This could lead to more unpredictable matchups and heightened competitive intensity. A hungry fighter is often a more exciting fighter after all. Unluckily nowadays, almost everyone can be called fighter. Reason 5. Fighter humility. Finally, consider this. Humility. Low paychecks could keep fighters grounded, reminding them that they're not above the sport itself. It's a way to ensure that no one becomes bigger than the sport and everyone stays hungry. Conclusion. So there you have it. Five reasons why low pay for MMA fighters could potentially make sense. But let's be clear, the debate on fighter compensation is an ongoing one, and there are many valid arguments on the other side as well. Remember, we're here to spark a conversation, not to dictate a perspective. Closing thoughts. Whether you agree or disagree, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. The world of MMA is full of passion, controversy, and endless debates. It's what makes this sport so fascinating. Thanks for watching, Fight Fans. Subscribe for more thought-provoking discussions on MMA, and we'll see you in the next round.